Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Book Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Pillen. I am back with another video. I'm going to make this real quick. Kim Brady character, the uh, the gunman, uh, the Philadelphia gunman, he shot and killed four men and injured two children. Shot those kids in their legs four times each, a 13-year-old and a three-year-old. Now, according to his roommate, his former roommate and her child, they said he was a very nice person. He was a great, they said he was a great person. He was into computers. Um, he was a quote unquote Black Lives Matter activist. Um, but he was troubled also. He was a very aggressive person. He loved to teach kids how to fight, but he didn't have that moral compass of when to tell them when to tell them when to stop, you know? Um, like she said, she was a really aggressive person. He loved guns. He taught kids how to shoot. But he also flashed guns in front of her daughter. And her daughter, daughter felt uncomfortable. And my thing is, if you, if, you, if you guys know that somebody's really aggressive... That, uh, that person, any person that's around you that's really aggressive, seek to get that person some type of mental help. Uh, um, yeah. Help when it comes to their mental health. Um, because you never know. Like Some people really do need help, but they just don't know how to go about to get that help. You know? But besides that, like you really got to stay strapped out here. You really got to protect yourself at all costs. And they go keep using these type of scenarios as a means to strip away our gun rights. To strip away our ability to protect ourselves. Because what they're going to sit there and say, well, guns are dangerous. No, you have a, a influx of mental health problems in the West, especially in America. And right now is the time where, yeah, we need to arm up. We need to protect ourselves as much as we possibly can from these people. Because not only that, the inflation is contributing to people going out here and just strong arming people, robbing people and everything like that. So you need to be protected. Your lady need to be protected. Your kids need to be protected. You know? But like I was saying, like, it's starting to seem, it's, it's starting to feel like mental health is a problem in the West right now. And you see it with people harming their children, harming the people around them, harming innocent people, harming themselves. If it's not cutting themselves, trying to commit suicide, or just flat out mutilating themselves, taking their eyesight because they feel like they're supposed to be blind, taking their genitalia and just castrating themselves, top surgeries and all, or whatever the case may be. Just because they feel like they're supposed to be something that they biologically are not. And if you disagree, it's called gender dysphoria for a reason. And they don't like, because this person was trans, if, I'm, if I haven't mentioned that already. But they don't tend to help these people come to terms with their mental health and I'm not just talking about the T people, I'm talking about just people in general it's like this society is egging people on to embrace their mental health but not try to seek help do this do that to fix it fix it, harm yourself but don't try to fix how you think don't try to get help just do this do this this is going to require x amount of dollars to do it and to be honest you might be you might be a permanent cash cow at that point forking out money just to make yourself to continue to feel better and it's not it's not to say that's not the same thing for 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 therapy and whatnot but everybody needs to talk to somebody at, at a certain point. Everybody. Because it's starting to get... It's starting to get a little bit 
nerve wracking. Now you like, yo, like I might have to carry everywhere I go because you don't know if somebody's lurking to try to rob or you don't know if somebody's having an episode that day. You don't know what's going on, you know? And they keep pushing these stories in front of you because, again, they want to strip you of your gun rights. They want to strip you of your gun rights. But I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this person, Kim Brady, who's going through a lot mentally with affirming himself and everything like that because the T people just the alphabets in general they tend to be very 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 aggressive i know you see those uh videos now not all of them are wrapped too tight not all of them and that's that's just, that's we can say the same thing about us you know but it just seems like they're a little more aggressive they're a little more sporadic they tend to be a little more unhinged when you address certain things, you know? So, like, and on top of that, you don't know if that person was taking certain type of medication that contributed to his mental health unstability. The fact that his mental health was so unstable. The fact that he was so aggressive. You don't know what he was taking. But with that being said, just... Look out for the people around you. Tend to uh, check up on the people around you. Check up on your mental health. Go talk to somebody if you need to. Protect yourself at all costs. Protect the people around you at all costs. Stay strapped. Because it's trying times right now. And some people are out there looking for a lick. Some people look out there looking, looking for a way to get their aggression off. They want to be aggressive. But they normally try to be aggressive towards the week. But besides that, make sure you like, subscribe, and share my videos. I'm done. Um, thank you for the support, and thank you for just scrolling past. I appreciate it. Thank you.